Hello everybody and welcome back to Willowy. Today we are playing Ninjamurai, I think is how it said. Oh, it's right there. Um, I am sick. I haven't recorded the past couple days because I'm sick and my nose is still all messed up and burning. So I decided I was going to do another test game, another PSP Mini. Um, so we'll go normal for whatever this is because I really don't know anything about this. I just saw it. It's like, it's a Mini. Let's try it. Uh, okay, let's see. Ninjamurai wears the standard clothing of the Azur Monastery. Okay, I guess that's my only option. Okay. Uh, Tikizo, my student and friend. Uh, for many years we have lived here in peace. You have trained hard and studied diligently. Truly, you are the greatest warrior the Azur Monastery has ever known. Thank you, Dai Oro Sensei. I am most humbled. I'm not going to do voices because my throat is just not having it. I'm even having a hard time with this. But alas, th this is not a proclamation of good fortune. Troubled times are approaching. Those who would destroy us set their terrible plans in motion as we speak. Our numbers are few, but our resolve shall be unbreakable. How can this be? There is no time to discuss such matters. I am sending you Tekizao Nishimura to engage the Black Armor Forward Militia. Yukiko, an experienced field scout, will accompany and assist you. Travel light, travel far, my friend. Oof. Alright, this is a rendezvous point. Where is Yukiko? Radio hiss. Tiki's out. Do you read me? Loud and clear. You're late, so I got started without you. Really? Really. Besides, you would only slow me down. Hey, wait. Anyway, it's been a while since you last ventured outside the stuffy old monastery. You should adapt to your current surroundings before we engage the enemy. I'll keep scouting the route ahead and make supplies available for you where possible. Thanks. Over and out. Man, what a pay. I can still hear you. <laughs> Get moving already. Okay. Welcome to Ninja Ninjamurai. With X to jump. Whee. Oh. Press square to attack on the ground or in the air. Press circle to fire kunai knife. So I can go invisible. I can do that. I don't have any kunai. I actually really appreciate the art style. You do not see this very often. Or like, ever. There's a kunai. Wall side... Oh, wall, wall slide down the orange wall. Wall jump to avoid death. Okay. Congratulations, you found a hidden package. Try and find all 13 throughout the game. It's not like that one was hard. You can perform a double jump by pressing the jump button twice consecutively. Time this well to your advantage. The only issue I really have Checkpoints are activated when they turn green. You will respawn at a checkpoint if you die. The only issue I have currently is that... Oh, wow, there's a lot of spikes in there. Uh, it's very slidey, but I think... I'm not positive, but I think this was made to be slidey. Okay, that's the checkpoint. Lots of spikes. You can switch between stealth mode and attack mode by using L and R. Each mode changes your regular attack, jumping attack, and jujitsu. Or jutsu. Why does it keep stopping me over holes? Use your jutsu power triangle. Stealth allows you to sneak past enemies. It's so... Using your jutsu in attack mode kills all enemies on screen, but requires full chakra. Regain chakra, chakra by defeating enemies. It keeps trying to kill me. Hmm. 
<sighs> Certain Jutsus and attacks cause chakra. Attack mode cannot be equipped while you have no chakra. Travel light, travel far. Is that it? Are you done giving me all kinds of little lectures of random things? All right. I mean, you can definitely see those things up there, but you can't get that high. Oh, that's it. Okay. Well, so far, I can say I do enjoy this. I don't like the slidey. I think it's also, like... See that? You go so fast, it's hard to freaking... You don't even get the chance to jump. The second you go down that far, you're already dead. You do appear to have lives. Oh, I can go through that one, but I didn't go through the other one. So it's changing the rules on me. Okay. Slidiness. Oh my word. How do I get in there? Is there a reason? Doesn't seem to be. Ah! I didn't even know it was there. I don't know if he was hitting me or not. supposed to go this way? Was it supposed to go this way? Whoa! It's going to take a lot of effort to get used to this. Okay. Forgot about that one being a, you could fall on it. It's definitely irritating. I really feel like if they would have had the right kind of budget and a goal in mind to make this game a continuing game. Instead of making it just a one-off. Like, I honestly feel like they probably could have done pretty good with this. It sort of reminds me of Dust. Sort of. In style it's very loosely but oh that's how you go through there it is how do I get in there oh it's 13 it said oh god that happen man it's so easy but so hard all at the same time like I want to keep playing but at the same time it's such a pain in the butt why couldn't they have made this better because there's so much potential
And I honestly do want to play this game to completion. Like, I want to beat this game. But I know very well that it's not going to happen. At least not in one setting. I guess I could probably beat it. Oh, I thought that was... Ah! We're almost back to where we were. Dang it. Whoa, whoa, what? Why? Ah! This might be a shorter play than I thought. I don't know if I can go with just running. Like, I know where I'm going, so... What if I just run? Oh. There we go. We finally made it to this checkpoint. There's only one life left. Oh, I guess I gotta get the thing again. Oh, I don't have to get the thing again. Sweet. Mm -hmm. I forgot about that. How do I... There's nothing up there. Okay. I don't like these blind leaps of faith. Ow. I'm sure I only got one life left. Why is there such a freaking steep learning thing? Why is level 1 so easy and level 2 is such a freaking pain in the butt? I'm afraid to go really anywhere. Oh dear. Another leap of faith. Whoa, no, no, no. No. Oh, I didn't kill the last one because it sent me through this stupid thing. I missed two. You know what? I don't care. I finished it and I got the package. Oh, this is so irritating. I'm not going for a perfect until I've actually beaten this game. I'll kill people that get in my way. And I'm going to look for the packages. But that's it. Okay. I'm sorry if I'm getting quiet on this one. But my focus is all in this one. It's so hard to position yourself in a way that you're not going to get hurt. Like a what? I wasn't supposed to go up, but that's okay. I got some stuff. So good. No, I missed that. Oh, 
Sick boy. Probably not going to do me any good. Dang it. I'm almost dead. All right, well, I'm done. This is just a test anyway, and honestly, I do enjoy this game. Don't get me wrong. But it's way too hard for my patience right now. My throat hurts way too much. It looks like I'm drinking at something. Like, it's like I'm going... <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. It's not a bad game. It's sort of like Super Meat Boy in a way. Like, with a slidiness. But it's also a pretty awesome game. The styling is amazing. There's so much potential. And I really wish they would have focused on the gameplay a little bit more. I really want to see another game with this kind of style. If you guys know of any, let me know in the comments below. I'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye!